May 15, 2016, here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Distress of nations. Ladies and gentlemen, our Lord warned that in these end times preceding the uh, preaching, worldwide preaching and evangelization uh, in Matthew 24, that he said there would be signs in the the sky, signs on the sun, the moon, and the stars, but he also said there would be distress of nations. And so we're seeing this increased tensions, as I have been mentioning, uh, not only tonight, but also in previous uh, conversations on radio shows that I have done recently. And tonight is no different. Egypt jails 152 over anti-government protests. Egyptian courts have handed out jail sentences uh, over the weekend to 152 people for taking part in unlicensed anti-government protests. Uh, Judicial officials and lawyers have said the rulings were issued on Saturday by separate courts with the first group of 51 people sentenced to two years in jail and later in the evening 151 others were given five-year sentences for the same reason. Again, growing uh, tensions. We'll see what transpires here in America. It seems uh, seems quite promising that we could see some more uh, racial tension, if you will. You know, we're seeing the whole black, white, white cop shooting black kid, things like that. Uh, no doubt, the New World Order wants these divisions. They want complete chaos all over the globe. Uh, in order to have their new Messiah, Maitreya, step onto the scene and supposedly quell the storm, put some water on the fire, if you will. And again, these protests, uh, largely anarchist movements, are, are funded by the same New World Order. They truly sit on both sides of the fence. We see those anti-Trump uh, protests are, are f- funded by Soros. Uh, we don't need to know who he is serving. Uh so the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see this continue as we head closer to the end of this year. There's no question about it. Recently, we've had, actually tonight it was in France, same thing happened again. France is, is another hot spot. Many people are not paying attention, but in Ukraine as well, we had uh, clashes today, uh, the other day in Chile, as I mentioned in my other report. Then also uh, Brazil, they want to push uh push out their government there we're we're seeing it all over uh so please don't think that uh Amer- it's not coming to america cuz it will and on a small scale it has been happening whether it's been detroit uh with their protests uh with the not only the water but then also uh concerning the the teacher uh issue up there and so you know there's a lot going on that people aren't paying attention to or or, or maybe uh, they don't want to pay attention to it willfully, but the bottom line is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we try to keep track of this, and I will be doing a report over the next week, uh, you know, breaking this down further, where they are happening uh, in the world. But let us continue to pray. Again, world peace comes through the message of Fatima. It's going to come through the consecration of Russia. Look for the true Pope Benedict the Sixteenth's successor to do it. Anti-Pope Francis isn't going to do it. And who's showing up after anti-Pope Francis is not even going to call himself a Pope. We would call him the false prophet. So make sure you stay tuned to the latest news uh, from Tradcat Night. We're putting out a lot of information on a daily basis coming from the Twitter feed, on the actual blog itself. Tricat Night is the most comprehensive traditional Catholic site. We're close to a top 50,000 uh, ranking uh, worldwide, actually. And so we're becoming more and more visible, and I continue to do radio shows myself. And if you subscribe, you'll get... Not only the latest breaking news on Tradcat Night, but the latest radio shows which are coming out. I have a lot more uh, influential guests to get through here at the end of May going on into June. And so if you have any questions or you have guests you'd like to see on, contact me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com and I'll see if I can get them on. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, again, be sure to visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Stay safe. God bless.